हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लर्निंग वाइब्स बाय मृदुराज फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज विच आर द फैक्टर्स दैट अफेक्ट्स द रेजिस्टेंस दैट मींस देर आर सेवरल फैक्टर्स दैट अफेक्ट्स द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ मटेरियल बिकॉज ऑफ दैट फैक्टर्स द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ मटेरियल गेट्स चेंज सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दिस थिंग so please stay tuned to this video and we will learn which are the factors that affects the resistance first very quickly let's go through the resistance and if you want to understand this thing in detail i am providing a link above so you can go through that above link in this video and you can understand resistance betterly so let's see the property of material to oppose the flow of electrons through conductor is known as resistance the equation is r is equal to rho l by a whereas rho represents the resistivity of material which is different for different material then l represents length of that conductor and the a represents cross sectional area of conductor so this is the basic and fundamental of resistance if you want to know more in detail about this thing i am providing a card link above this video you can click on that link and you can refer a detailed video on this topic that is resistance now friends we'll go to our main topic that factors that affects resistance which are the factors that affects the resistance so let's recall the equation the equation of resistance is r is equal to rho l by a so these are three factors that affects the resistance first is length so length affects the resistance if we change the length resistance is going to change the next is a area cross sectional area of conductor if we change the cross sectional area definitely resistance going to be changed the third one is rho type of material if we change the type of material definitely resistance going to be change and the fourth last but not least that is temperature temperature also play a key role in value of resistance so these are the four factors which affects the resistance of material now friends let's see how to remember this how we can remember that there are only four factors that affects the resistance so for that it is very simple you have to remember this sentence resistance of all material just so simple as it look like resistance of all material so from that all this four highlighted word will take side and will gather and make a word that is tamil so now you have to remember this word tamil if you remember tamil then you will easily recall all the four factors so from t it is temperature from a it is area from m it is type of material and from l it is length so it is very simple friends to remember how you can recall four values or four uh, i can say four factors that affects the resistance of material very simple from this word tamil temperature area material and length now we will see quickly each one of this how it affects the value of resistance so first of all we'll start with length so the relation is r is proportional to l so as resistance depends on length so as we increases the length resistance will increase it is very easy to see from this relation but now let's understand that how actually that works we have two conductors each of aluminum material both has the same cross sectional area but the length of both material is different one is shorter than other one so now let's see if we apply electromotive force to both this conductor 
actual resistance offered to this electron is the number of collision occurs when this electron passes from one section to another section so as we increases the length of resistance number of collision of that electron will increase let's see this so we are applying this force to first material and we have seen the number of collision for shorter lens material is much less we have increased the length of that conductor and now when we applied electromotive force to this electron and when this electron starts moving the number of collision happens with this electron is more than that that means each collision offers some resistance so as the length increases the number of collision increases and as the number of collision increases the resistance of that material increases so it is very simple to remember as we increases the length the resistance of that material increases so r is proportional to length now let's see the next that is r is inversely proportional to a that means resistance is inversely proportional to cross sectional area if we increases the cross sectional area the value of resistance decreases with some proportion let's see with example we have two conductor of aluminum the length of these two conductor is the same but the cross sectional area of this conductor is different now we have studied that basically what is resistance that is the collision happens with electrons so if we apply electromotive force to this atom sorry this electron so let's see what happens so this electron flows through a number of collisions let's watch it again when we apply electromotive force to this electron then this electron faces number of collision like this and when we apply the same amount of electromotive force to this electron and see as we have a larger cross sectional area that means we have more number of alternative paths available to flow of electron in less cross sectional area the alternate path is less but as the cross sectional area of that conductor increases the alternate possible path to flow of electron is increases and as that increases the number of collision decreases and as the number of collision decreases the resistance also decreases so it is very simple friends that as cross sectional area of conductor increases then the resistance of that conductor decreases now let's see the another parameter that is resistance depends on type of material that means if we change the type of material the resistance changes first we have aluminum conductor and then we have copper conductor so here we have two conductors aluminum conductor and copper conductor the atomic structure of aluminum and copper is different as the atomic structure of aluminum and copper is different the resistance offered by these two material it's also changes so let's see the resistance offer to aluminum and resistance offer in copper because the atomic structure is different in both of this material the resistance offer in both of this material is different we will see this is the specific resistance of aluminum that varies from 2.65 to 2.82 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter whereas the specific resistance of copper is 1.72 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter which is lesser than the aluminum one so this is the difference of material if we changes the material the resistance of that material also changes so we have seen three types of effects 
now we are going to study the fourth one resistance depends on temperature when the temperature is normal the behavior of this atom or the vibration of this atom is normal atom is actually getting some energy from atmosphere and when the more energy atom absorbs it vibrates more at normal temperature the vibration of that atom is very less so this electron can collide and pass easily but when temperature of this conductor increases by any means we increases the temperature of this conductor then we can have two different effects one effect is with conductor and the another effect is with insulator and semiconductors so we will see these two effects separately if you want to know about the effect of temperature in detail then i am providing a video link about here and you can refer to that link go to that video watch that video and can have in detail depth knowledge about the effect of temperature on material right now we'll see it quickly that in conductor if we increases the temperature in conductor when we increase the temperature because of this increment the vibration in conductor or or the vibration in atoms of conductor will increase naturally the free electrons in conductor is more and when the vibration of this atom increases then when electron is trying to pass through this conductor it will face more collisions because number of free electrons in conductor is more and by increasing the temperature the vibration in atom also increases and we have more electrons so the actual thing happen is electron will face more collision because more increment in temperature more increment in vibration as the vibration increases the collision increases and as the collision increases the resistance of that material increases now we will see for insulator when in insulator if we increase the temperature vibration in atom also increases the same as conductor but the different is when vibration increases but number of free electron available in insulator is much less than conductor so in conductor number of free electrons are more and in insulator number of free electrons are less or tends to zero very less electrons are available in conduction band so when we increases the temperature the vibration increases but electrons are very less so electrons can flow with high velocity and when electron flows with very high velocity it it gets collided with the valence electron of any atom let's see this effect again when this electron is moving with high velocity what will happen it will create a collision and when it will create a collision what will happen it will give some of it some of its energy to the valence electron of this atom so the thing happen is the valence electron of this atom also separated from this atom and now instead of one we have two free electrons so as there are there is very few electrons freely available this collision can create or this collision can increase higher number of free electrons so like this in insulator this collision will increase the number of free electrons and as number of free electrons increases the resistance of that material decreases so in insulator as we increase the temperature the resistance of that material decreases so this is what happen in insulator now we are concluding our today's lecture 
in conclusion let's see it quickly resistance has these four factors sorry the material has these four factors that can affect the value of resistance that can affect the resistance of material let's conclude this session if we increase the length of the conductor resistance of conductor also increases the next if we increase the cross sectional area of conductor the resistance of conductor decreases next for the material if we change the material of conductor the resistance of material gets changed the next is for temperature if we increase the temperature for insulator resistance will reduce and for conductor resistance will increase so this is what happens when the temperature of insulator and conductor gets changed so friends this is for today's session these are the four factors which can affects the resistance of material if you want to calculate some examples of resistance then at the end of the video i am providing a link you can go to that link and you can solve some of interesting examples of resistance thanks for watching learning vibes by mruduraj please give a like and subscribe to the channel if you like this video thank you friends see you